What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I finally got my Eternity Code case in the mail today. So, uh, I'm not really sure I'm gonna split this video up. Basically, I was thinking for uh, today's video, I'm just gonna open up two boxes, that way there's a little bit more, uh, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm gonna have to uh, speed through the packs as much and uh, we can kind of just enjoy and look through all the different cards. And then I still have all these other boxes which are stacked up. You guys can, I think, actually see them all right over here. Uh, then I'm thinking maybe we'll just do a big opening of all of them and I'll go through them fairly quickly. You know, that way it's not terribly long video. I don't know, it's, it's gonna be a fairly long video anyway. So uh, let me know if you guys have any, you know, ideas on how you would like to see the case opening or what. Um, I wanna try the live stream at some point too, but since I haven't really tested it out, I don't think I'm going to with this yet. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But anyway, let's go ahead and open these up, see what we get. I got all these. I bought my case from Big and Collectibles. Check them out. Link in the description. And also to uh, check out my TCG Player link, which it will take you to this set, but you can buy anything from TCG Player if you click on my link or use the code Cybernaut. It helps support my channel. It's a great way, too, where you can look at the prices of the cards I got from this set, or maybe there's, you know, you can just kind of look through the cards or whatever, see what you like from this set if you didn't see it in the opening video. And, uh, again, it really helps out and makes it so I can do more videos, basically. So, I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, let's get to it. But, yeah, I do want to try live streaming. I just hope my internet can do it. My internet kind of sucks where I'm at. So, that's the reason I haven't really tried too much. But, I'm going to make some time very soon to uh, do that. Have Ancient Warriors. It's one of the Ancient Warriors. I don't know how you say his name. But I'm probably going to start testing that next week. And then maybe on, like, future case openings, we'll do, like, you know, I'll open up a couple of boxes in a normal YouTube video, and then the rest we'll do, like, a live stream. And and then it will be uploaded so you guys can watch it all at once, too. It's kind of an idea. I think I saw, is it Sam? Yeah, uh, Team Samurai. They did that. I think. I think I'm thinking of the right person. Uh, Planet Patrol Party. Yeah, I think he's the one that's been doing that. So, it's a good idea. So I might do that as well. That way I'm not like uploading several different parts of a case opening and it might be more interactive that way. But it all depends if my internet can do it. And that's what I'm struggling with. Because where I live, I'm not in a city and uh, it's crap. So <laughs> have uh, the arrival uh, Cyrus Attic Nister. Oh man, a lot of Link Monsters. That's the only thing that's really stopping me from doing stuff like that. And if I live stream too... I might eventually use Twitch, but I'd probably live stream on YouTube first and try it out that way. Since I'm already on YouTube, you know, we'll see. Oh, okay, cool. We got an Ultra Rare. Uh, the, one of the new Medulce cards, Medulce uh, Salon. That's awesome. Also, let me know what you want me to build from this set. And you may have already noticed, too, there are no rares in this set. If you hadn't already noticed that, it's not like a weird, like, mispack thing or whatever. You uh, get a holo pack, but no rares anymore. Rose Girl, just in case somebody knows that and they're like, oh, well, you know, this is a weird set. Well, it's the first set to start doing that, so. So you don't get, like, a rare and a hollow anymore. It's just a, a hollow and commons. Have Burning Draw. Sound a great card. But I want to know what deck profiles you guys want to see. I, of course, want to go with Cyverse and Dragon Maids, but let me know on others, too. Those are like the main two. Maybe Ignister. I guess that's technically not just Cybers. Oh. D did I? Oh my god. I think... I, I, did I do it? I did! I got a Starlight Rare! <laughs> oh man, finally! I actually got one. This is my first one. I, I just saw from the side. I was like, oh my god, I actually got one. Uh, you guys were telling me this would be the time I'd get one, right? This first case I've gotten from a set where you can get Starlight Rares. That is awesome! And it's funny I got this one too because I've had several 20th anniversary of this. It's a new hand trap. Uh, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. That is so awesome! This is my first one. I have not gotten any from my openings and stuff. That is so amazing. You can even get Effect Failure, by the way, as a Star Foil or uh, Starlight Rare God. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain's not working anymore. <laughs> that is so awesome! That, I can't believe that. I was hoping I was finally going to get one. And this is a good set to get one, too. They're all uh, pretty dang expensive. Let me get a sleeve for that. Well, there we go. I've heard some people have gotten several of them from the cases, too. So I'm kind of hoping that might be possible. But I'm glad I at least got one. Because, again, I have not gotten one of these yet. That is so cool. Well, there we go. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones in this set, too. That's another reason I bought a case of this set. 
<laughs> well, we're starting off strong, okay? This has been a good week for openings. I want you guys to check out my last two openings, too. Check them out. I had some really stupid luck. Uh, Gasari Addict Nister. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, oh, this has been like the best week of openings ever. I'm not going to spoil what I got in those other videos, but check out the, the last two openings. The Galaxy S10 and uh, the random like Walmart opening I did because I've had some insane luck. I don't want it to end. Another one, the Ancient Warriors. I'm glad I got that one, too. I do hope, though, maybe, <laughs> if there's any way I can get them cheap, I want to get the Dragon Maid, the Chamber Maids, as the Starlights, because I like using Dragon Maids, and I'd love to have a place of those, but I know they're expensive. Oh, there's a, an Ultra Rare Force. We have uh, Machina uh, Metal Cruncher. forgot this card was actually in this set. Huh, that's awesome. I forgot a few cards in the set because since it was delayed, you know, we just now have this set now. You can find it everywhere. Um, it's throwing me off. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what all's in this again? You guys made me wait so long. Uh, Gachiria Ignister. Uh, did I? Oh, I screwed that up. Sorry. There we go. See? Uh, that's why I can't get a Starlight Rare. <laughs> it totally threw off the opening, right? No, I'm freaking happy about that. Man, this has been a good week. And then a uh, horror uh, generator, Boss of Storms. I'm glad I'm having some good luck. Because like I said, everything going on in the world has been pretty depressing. <laughs> if you guys are, I don't know, hopefully you aren't feeling the same way as I am on it. So that makes me feel a lot better. Because I've been fighting that lately, I'll admit. Uh, eye contact. I always want to say AI, but I guess technically it's eye. Well, I'm happy with my first box. Then a Nemesis uh, Flag. And let's get the, the new Talker monster. The cover card, basically. He's really tough to get, and I need a few. Have uh, Planet Patrol uh, ship shape ships shipping. Yeah, that has to be from the meme, right? Ship shipping ships or whatever. <laughs> I think so. It's not an easy one to say for sure. And another ultra rare for us. We have a fusion deployment. This card's pretty cool. I saw some people using it with the new Neos Wiseman card, which I'm hoping will be in the Mega Tens or something, since we're getting you know the uh, Red Eyes uh, Dark Magician fusion. So that would be awesome because they were basically using that. And then able to go for the fusion, and then they would bring out the actual Neos Wise Man stuff too. It was like you Bell and Neos together. Looked fun. Uh, Nemesis Corridor. I'd love to try that out. Actually, something that looked sort of competitive that uses Neos and you Bell. I don't know. And Marine says, uh, Great Bubble Reef. I need to speed it up a little. I'm just having fun. Oh, there we go. There's another secret for us. We have a uh, Titan of Cider. That's like the Apollosa, you know, on, on the trap card, basically. She's in the artwork. That's a cool looking secret. I don't think that's one of the big ones you want to get, but again, you know, Starlight Rare. I'm good. <laughs> I, I'm really happy about that. That is the only one I've ever gotten. Or I guess at least in English. I've got a Japanese one, oddly enough. Void Apocalypse. up just a bit. Have a uh, Malice Lady of Lament. And, oh, there we go, Union Driver. For a second, I was like, did we get an Ultra Rare? <laughs> I couldn't tell. Might have gotten everything, but uh, let's see. Uh, Armored Bitron. Another pretty good Cybers from this set. And last one from this box. Okay. What are we ending with? I think we got everything, but again, I would not complain about something else. Ah, a Valiant uh, Shark Lancer. Unfortunately, but again, 
Yeah. <laughs> that quickly, we already got one, and we're not even, you know, now we're pretty much officially going with the case, because I got 13 boxes. If you didn't know, lucky 13. Maybe that is my lucky number. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I can't argue with it after getting that. So there is a chance we could have more. I don't know. Like I was going to say at the beginning, I know some of you already told me you bought a case, and like I think one person got like two effect failures, the, the Starlight. So uh, that would be nice. <laughs> Would not complain. Uh, burning draw. Dang, I'm still happy we already got that. It's a little bit of pressure off me. Good sorry at it, Nister. Because I was really hoping I'd at least get one after buying a case. So I didn't want to be the guy, you know, the same one that got the. Kaiba Legendary Collection, and then get one Ash Blossom. I didn't want that to happen again, you know? <laughs> also, that is true. We got a hand trap. Oh, there we go. I hadn't seen this card yet. A Deep Sea uh, Prima Donna. That's pretty cool. The new Deep Sea Diva Synchro Monster, basically. I forgot she was uh, an Ultra. I think I got, like, a secret version of her from Japan. Have another ancient warrior. Might be worth picking up the ancient warrior cards, by the way. I don't think anything expensive, but I think it's the next set. Yeah, Rise of the Duelist that has a link monster for them that looks pretty uh, decent. Another one at Nister. Let's see, I'm kind of saying the same names over and over, so. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I saw a fusion monster. I was thinking, which one is it? Yeah, of course. It's a new uh, Blender Patrol. Uh, Lease? I, I think it's how you say it, Sam. I'm not really sure. L-Y-S. So, uh, yeah, that is the new Blender Patrol uh, fusion monster. Uh, another archetype I want to try out because they don't really look that expensive. And I actually had good luck getting the Ultras from the previous set because they were the only really tough ones to get. I don't know. I'll have to try that out. But, yeah, they got a, a fusion, of course. Oh, but I guess we'll put our secrets together like that. That's a pretty decent one. That's one I've wanted. I don't think it's very expensive, but Planet Patrols look really fun. And I'm even hoping uh, maybe next set they'll get even more support. I hope so. Maybe, like, at least two more sets worth of support. Uh, another one of Har. They usually do that world premiere. I think they get, like, four sets, basically, or something. Or maybe it's just one more, then, technically. Either way, I'd love to see them become something like Spirals, you know, did. Witchcrafter uh, Patronus. And, oh, there we got the Trap Tricks. Uh, Trap Tricks Alomaris. That could be another one I am totally destroying the name of, but this is a very good XC monster to get to. I believe it's one of the ones you can get as a uh, Starlight. So, really cool. I'm, I'm really tempted to build Trap Tricks. I might end up doing it. Because I do like the new support they've gotten. Full overload. They got support. They have a new... Hey, I think this is a set that has a new trap hole and all kinds of stuff. So, it's tempting. Witchcraft are unveiling. We'll see. I mean, it kind of all depends on what I get from the case. I mean, the ones I'm like 100% on that I want to build are Cybers and Dragon Maid. After that, I mean, just let me know. And uh, also... It'll kind of depend on what we get. Have, uh, oh yeah, the Invoked. It's cool. Because I want to start doing more deck profiles. I enjoy those videos, even if they don't do as well as I would like them to. Void Apocalypse. Okay. Then Marine Cess, another one of her. Yeah, I can tell I'm going to be much faster in the other opening. Focus. There we go. Have Void Apocalypse, of course. And uh, there we go, Heavy Forward. That's pretty cool. That is uh, for the Infinitrax, their new card. 
I think it's all right. I think it's a decent one. I don't know if I really like it as an ultra, though, of this set. I feel like it takes a spot. Have uh, another one of Malice. The evil waifu. Sure, I don't know. I always want to call her Lilith, because she's like the one from the structure deck, so. I guess she goes with her, technically. And uh, Arbitron. Then, oh, there we go. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, here's definitely one of the cards I figure is going to be the toughest to get from this set. So we'll have to see. Uh, we actually got Gear C, the Orcus Mech Knight. It's a beautiful card. Seriously, it's probably one of the strongest cards of the set. Orcus, Mech Knight, all the other, you know, it's, it's kind of funny. It's several, I guess, World Legacy things going on. But yeah, this is basically the Armageddon Knight for the Orcus. I knew it would be tough for us to get over here, and it has been. So yeah, I think it's one of the more expensive ones. I'll have to double check myself. Or maybe it's like second, because I feel like actually the cover card, not counting the uh, Starlights, uh, I think the cover card might actually be uh, the most expensive, the new Talker Monster. But I'll have to double check myself. The prices have been weird on this set, especially since um, with the virus and all going on and we got delayed with this set, it's all weird now. So I'm sure we're going to actually start seeing the prices they're supposed to be and what they will kind of stay at. Another one, Shark Lancer. But that's definitely a good one to get, for sure. Even though I'm not much, I, I don't know if I'm going to use it. I'm not much of an Orcus player or whatever, but uh, I do love the artwork of it and the story. And it's a good card, obviously. Engine Warriors. That kind of goes without saying. I think everyone's talked about that, so you don't need me to say it. And uh, we also have, uh, let's see, Shadow of the Generator Bosses. Another one of him. I've had good luck getting him. I'm kind of surprised. There we go. He's a cool card from this. Makes me want to build Gen Raiders. That's another one I'm tempted to. I don't know if I'm going to go with the Orcus build, though. I've heard that strong, but I don't know if I want to try to get a place out of him. I mean, if we happen to, maybe. Plunder Patrol Party. Are we down to the last one? No, we have two more. Okay. I don't know what else to expect. But let's see. Have another one of the Agnister. And last pack. What are we ending with? Can we end with some above a super? I think we got everything, but I feel like I should ask. Let's see. Like and subscribe. And ah, Rose Girl. Unfortunately not, but again, I kind of figured we had everything. So, yeah, there we go. That is the double unboxing. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Incredible luck, seriously. I mean, getting the Orcust, which I should probably get a sleeve on here in a second. I probably will. And uh, also, of course, getting my first Starlight. I am very happy about this because I I'm hoping we might be able to get another one. I know I'm already getting greedy, but I'm at least glad I got one because, again, I did not want to be the YouTuber like that time, especially being a hand trap where, you know, you're trying to get a certain card from it, so you buy a case and you didn't get any of them. So that's what I was hoping wouldn't happen with Star uh, Starlights. I always want to say Starfoil, so sorry. That's the reason I keep stuttering, because I keep correcting myself. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And uh, again, let me know what you guys kind of think on the opening. I'm probably just going to open them all in one video or something. But again, we'll probably end up doing some live streaming and stuff soon. Like openings on live stream, and then like future cases and stuff. We'll probably uh, do like a few regular videos, and then a few live stream, which then will be uploaded so you can watch them too. So, yeah. Let me know if you guys like that idea and all that, too. I just got to test my internet and see if it's not crap, basically. And uh, we'll do some testing, uh, I guess, next week, technically, because it's Saturday. So, uh, yeah, stay safe out there. Hope you guys are being very safe with everything going on. And, uh, yeah, like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. See you.